Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Laurie from Cook Scrap Craft. I'm gonna be starting this process video a little bit differently. This is for a paper issues challenge that's going on this month and it is called the this or that challenge. So I wrote down the things that I was gonna be using because they give you a list of seven things. You can either choose this one or that one. So I chose polka dots. I've got polka dot paper here. Uh, the color blue, blue is here and I'll probably end up adding a, uh, some blue elsewhere as well. Buttons, buttons, I went with buttons over sequins, believe it or not. Circle, um, so uh, buttons are circular. I don't know if I'm gonna cut the photos into a circle, but circles is what I've chosen. Clothes pins. I actually have some little fun craft clothes pins to use. Pom poms. I figured um, the fringe here had some pom poms on the end. This is from um, the June kit, actually, from Paper Issues. And then floral. This nice floral color. And all the papers are from the Thankful Thirty kit um, over at Paper Issues, as well as the washi tape, which also has a floral pattern in it. So I'll probably end up using that. Um, the buttons, the clothespins, uh, those are from my stash and we'll just kind of see what else I add in as I get started. So let's go. Okay. So here we go. Basically, I am just going to get my papers ready. I always like to prep 12 by 12 papers by getting rid of the branding strips first. And then I can kind of figure out how I want to cut them, whether I'm going to do circles as I am doing here with my big circle punch, um, or, you know, if I'm going to back the paper, back the photos with paper. Here, I decide, because I chose circles, that I was going to cut the, some of the pattern paper into circles and um, incorporate that as part of the design as a way to get all those great patterns on the page, um, it's, it's kind of hard when you've got three photos and they, I do cut them down a, a little bit, um, but they were kind of, you could see there, they were kind of taking up a lot of space on the layout. So I knew that I couldn't exactly, I wanted the, fo I wanted the photos, photos to be the vocal, the focal point, but I didn't want, I didn't want the patterns to be, I just didn't want it to be too busy or, or something. Anyway, um, I just was tr also trying to kind of create something, you know, the circles are going along the vertical, and then I was trying to create something that would go across the horizontal um, to follow the horizontal line of the photos. So you can see I cut them down. The two on the side, I think, are four by four, and the one on the top, because it was a vertical photo to begin with, and... Um, it was very close because it was a selfie. I couldn't cut it down exactly to four by four, but that's okay. Um, so it was, I don't even know what the measurements are on it. It doesn't matter. So here I'm just putting down the circles because I know that I definitely want them to go on the left-hand side of the page. And then I'm adding some washi tape to go behind that orange strip because obviously the background paper is orange. It's actually kind of a polka dot. And then the um, coordinating pattern on the branding strip is sort of a solid orange. So I was just trying to make it stand out a little bit more by putting that washi tape behind it. And then here's the part where I really start to struggle. Those photos, because there are three of them and they are kind of big, they are covering up <laughs> the thing that I put down. And I love the look of that washi tape. It's a beautiful floral. It's Carpe Diem. Uh, that's the brand. And it was in the Paper Issues Thankful 30 kit. By the way, don't forget to use my discount code LARS to save 20% off in the Paper Issues store. I don't know if the Thankful 30 kit is still available. It was when I purchased it a couple weeks ago, but they do have a couple other kits. Um, and there, there's always a monthly kit, uh, two monthly kits actually, that you can choose from. So if you can't find Thankful 30 or the, the coveted July kit, um, just just hang out for August because another kit's going to be on its way very soon. So I am just going to commit to this sort of design and hope that I don't cover up too, too much of that uh, beautiful patterned washi tape there in the back. Um, I'm just kind of keeping it, this one I'm kind of keeping very simple. These are photos of me and my daughter. They're all selfies that we took at a farm last fall. We were picking pumpkins and taking a hayride. When we got to the pumpkin patch, my daughter was not exactly super excited about being there. She did not want a big pumpkin. She wanted little pumpkins. So 
whatever. That's why she's not looking at the camera in that photo because she was mad at me that I made her go look at the big pumpkins. So the little fringe there, that's my, that's satisfying my pom-pom requirement for this challenge. And that actually came in the Paper Issues June kit, um, which is really fun. And I will end up actually using a stapler to staple the ends down. I didn't really want to use, sometimes I use glue dots. I used to have a really cool um, like ribbon glue that was that worked really well. Um, I didn't think the glue dots were going to work very well with the fabric and then I just wasn't feeling like getting my hands all sticky with tacky glue. So I will eventually go get a stapler to staple down those edges and I like the way that um, the staples look sometimes in, in graphic layouts so I have no problem using a staple. And here I'm just trying to figure out, like you can see I've got some buttons down and I picked oranges, yellows, and browns to kind of go with the fall theme and I like the clothes pins. I just couldn't figure out where to put them and I, I like adding it to the cluster up there in the on the right hand side but I felt like if I tried to add it somewhere uh, to the bottom cluster it was just there was going to be too much stuff there because I also added a ch uh, creative embellishments chipboard word that says autumn and then there's a fancy pants design cork board sticker that says I pick you which I totally needed to have because we're pumpkin picking and then it's pictures of me and my daughter so I felt that little sentiment uh, totally fit and I, I like the three buttons there so I just didn't think that the um, the clothes pin was going to be a good addition down there at the bottom and maybe if I'd wanted to take a little bit more time I could have been a little more creative with where the clothes pins went but they also add when when they're flat the way I have it right now it's not too dimensional you saw that I did try to add one to the photo and then that warped the photo because when you use them like how a regular clothespin would be in that shape they add a little bit too much thickness to the page so I just decided um you know I needed a clothespin so I was just gonna put down a clothespin and if it works it works you know whatever sometimes I think I've said this before, sometimes you just kind of like pick the embellishments and then whatever happens, happens. And you don't need a reason or an explanation. You just say, hey, I liked it, so there you go. Now, um, that's me and the stapler. And I had to stop the video because I had to find my stapler. We have, I have one down in my scrap room and it didn't work. So the one that I did, that I did know worked, uh, I had to find it upstairs. So anyway, pardon that little interruption there. Here I'm going to add um, a few more of those lovely corkboard stickers. Um, just a little heart there because it's me and my daughter and I love her. And then these are the close-ups. So come to the Paper Issues Friends and Fans Facebook group to play along with us. Lots of challenges all month long. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching and happy scrapping.